Hi, my name is Miss Amanda, and I'm your school-based therapist here at Rice Elementary School. Today, I want to talk to you about using tip skills when we feel like we're at our limit and can't think straight. We're going to learn what it means to reach our tipping point, what skills to use before that happens, practice two of these skills together, and then we'll check in with ourselves. We can all feel overwhelmed or that life is too chaotic at times, especially right now. Everything is so different and we don't know what to expect next. Some of us may feel like we are reaching our tipping point with what we can handle. To better explain what a tipping point is, let's think about being in a library for a minute. Let's say we have three or four books to hold. We can probably do that with no problem, right? It might even sound kind of awesome if you're like me and you love to read. But what if we were given five or 10 more books? We might be able to hold them all, and maybe it even looks like we're okay on the outside. But inside, we can feel our arms are too heavy. It's hard to hold a lot of books at one time. Now imagine someone comes along and gives us 10 more books to hold, or 20. At this point, we could even be trying to hold a stack that's taller than ourselves, and that's just too much. We can't be expected to safely hold that many books because no matter what we do, something's going to crash. And that's because we've reached our tipping point. Now that we can better understand what it means to reach our tipping point, that point where it's no longer safe to hold on to what we have, let's think about our own lives and what we're expected to carry. We each have a lot of responsibilities and emotions, especially right now. It seems like we have no control over what we have to hold. Each new situation we have to deal with is like adding more books to our stack. And what's important to know is that it's not about how strong you are. We all have a point when our bodies and minds get so overwhelmed that we can potentially act in a way that's not safe. Think about what happens for you when you reach your tipping point. Maybe you start yelling at people and call them mean names, or you break something. Maybe you kick or hit someone. Maybe you hurt yourself or you curl up in a ball and don't let anyone know you're struggling. Again, remember that each person's tipping point looks different. We can probably all think of a time when we've reached ours and have done something we regret, or when we've seen someone else reach theirs and they've acted out. So the cool thing is, is that there are skills we can use before that happens. We can remember them because they spell out the word tip. TIP stands for temperature, intense exercise, paced breathing, and paired muscle relaxation. We use these when we feel like we're in that tipping point danger zone. Before trying any of these skills, you should, tr you should talk to an adult in your life to see if they're right for you. If you're feeling uncomfortable, maybe you guys can think of an alternative together. First, we can use temperature to help cool our emotions. Try splashing cold water on your face or ask an adult for some ice and hold it in your hand for a minute and watch it melt. If that doesn't feel like something you wanna try, maybe drink some cold water or skip this idea and try something else. You might notice that when you use cold temperature to help cool your emotions, you become distracted from what was making you so upset in the first place for just long enough that you can make a safe choice. We can also try using intense exercise. We wanna really be moving to get our heart rate going. We can get creative with this. Do something fun that gets you moving enough to be sweaty. The important thing when you're trying this skill is to trust your body. If it hurts or it's too hard to do, stop. Do what feels right for you. Another skill we can try is paced breathing. As we breathe calming breaths, our emotions can calm too. There are many ways to practice paced breathing, and today I wanna to go over box breathing. Try this out, out if it feels comfortable for you. Imagine the four sides of a box like the one on the screen. When we go along one side of the box, we breathe in gently through our nose. The second side of the box, we hold our breath. The third side of the box, we breathe out gently through our mouth. 
and the last side of the box, we hold our breath again. We keep going around the box as we breathe. Now that I've told you how to do this, if you wanna join along, let's give it a try. So breathe in gently through your nose, hold, breathe out, and hold. Breathe in through your nose, hold, out through your mouth, hold. In through your nose, hold, out through your mouth, hold. Awesome. Feel what your body feels like. Now, the last skill we can try is called paired muscle relaxation. That's basically a fancy way of saying tense your muscles while breathing in through your nose and relax your muscles while breathing out through your mouth. We can use any part of our body to do this, but today we're gonna focus on using our faces and our hands. So we're gonna scrunch our faces and fists as hard as we can while we breathe in through our nose. We breathe in place kind of like a statue. You can even make a silly face if you want, as long as your muscles are tight. And then we let our bodies relax, get loose and melt as we breathe out through our mouths. So try this with me if you want. Breathe in through your nose, scrunch, 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 freeze. Breathe out through your mouth, relax and melt. Breathe in through your nose, scrunch, 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 freeze. Breathe out through your mouth, melt and relax. One last time. Breathe in through your nose, scrunch, 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 freeze. And breathe out through your mouth, melt and relax. Great job. So let's take a second to check in with ourselves. It's kind of cool that we can use our bodies to change our moods, right? How are you feeling? What's going on in your body? Do you notice any changes? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. This is just something for you to think about. Do you think these are skills you can try? If you have any questions, talk to an adult. Maybe something we went over today won't work for you, and that's absolutely okay. Our goal is to keep learning so we can feel better in our bodies. If you think you're about to reach your tipping point, before you topple over, think about using the tip skills we discussed today. Have a wonderful and healthy day.